Guten Tag. I am Dr. J. Rupert Hammerschlager, and in this episode of our documentary blog about the making of the lost masterpiece Prometheus Triumphant, I want to discuss with you the unique history of one of the film's locations, Dixmont State Lunatic Asylum. Dixmont State Lunatic Asylum was built in western Pennsylvania upon the banks of the Ohio River in 1885, and in the next hundred years housed many of the most disturbed minds in that area. Unfortunately, it also was a prison to many peoples of the time who were victims of other non-psychological maladies the doctors of the era could not diagnose, and also many peoples that were simply misunderstood. These people, epileptics, inbred children of wealthy steel parents who were born with birth defects, people who had different orientations, women who were labeled hysterical by the patriarchal establishment of the time, would all be forced to spend their lives here, in this forsaken hell. This footage was shot in 2003 when the institution had been closed for almost 20 years and is some of the last pictures ever taken of the asylum. Unfortunately, this marvelous structure and testament to the flaws of our collective past no longer stands. It was demolished two years later in 2005 by a giant retail store company looking to develop the land into a commercial center. Strangely, this powerful business model and its attempts to build on this property were abandoned within six months, so today, the land wherein once all the madmen of an entire city dwelt is now peacefully vacant. The official reason given by the corporation was that the area was too undermined with subsurface tunnels to allow safe building. Was that the truth? Or was there more to it? Could it be that those poor souls from over a hundred years of torment still scream out in the darkness? That perhaps they do not like interlopers into what was once their home for their whole pitiful lives? Perhaps we will never know. Which raises the question, in the time when the custom was to build sets for films, why would the filmmakers choose this place of all places to make their masterpiece? One, did they experience the same thing? Did they perhaps ignore it, or were they perhaps so crazed themselves with the fire of creation that the ghosts of Dixmont left them to their task to allow them to create a truly mad story? No one knows, but it cannot be denied that the eeriness of this place lent Prometheus much of its haunted and foreboding atmosphere, and lent a feeling of ultimate threat to this meisterwerk of film history. Until next time, this is Dr. Hammerstalker bidding you good night and pleasant dreams.